In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the return statement to return a value from a programmer defined function. So let's get started. Um, open up your Python shell and once you've opened up the shell, create a new file and save that file in your preferred place. I'm going to save to my desktop and save it as maybe I'll call it return dot py on the desktop. Okay, let's define a function. Def starts the function definition. So for this function, I'll call it um, let's say odd or no, let's say let's call it is odd. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send a number and if the number is an odd number I'm going to return true. If not, I'll return false. So to determine whether a number is an odd number we would say if n modulus 2 is equal to 1 now, if you're not familiar with modulus, you can go to my uh, homepage in the search box, type modulus, and it will take you through to uh, a page that explains the modulus operator. This is the modulus operator. What it's going to do, it's going to divide n by 2, and it's, this will result in the value of the remainder. So, for example, 5 modulus 2, the remainder is 1. If the remainder is equal to 1, this is an odd number. You'll notice that any value of n which is odd will always give you uh, n modulus 2 equal to, zero, uh, equal to 1. So here I'm going to return true. And true is a Boolean value. Now let's see this work. So he will say n, let's enter n, so let's say n int input, please enter an integer. Okay, so there we have, don't forget your second bracket there. Right, so we're going to enter an integer, and then we're going to send that integer to the is odd Let's, instead of n, let's call this one number. Number, please enter an integer. So whatever we enter here will be a string that's converted to an integer, and the integer then is assigned to the number variable. Now, uh, we can say print is odd number. Now that's either going to print true or false. Now really if it's going to print false I should say here else return false. Notice true and false these are keywords. The first letter is a capital. Now you have to type it like this otherwise it will not work. So what we're going to do when this program runs, we are going to be asked to enter an integer. That integer will be sent as an argument to the isOdd function. And whatever is returned will be printed here. So if it returns true, this function call will be replaced by the value true. And if it returns false, it will be returned by false. And then that is what will be printed. So let's see if this works okay. So I save it. Now it says please enter an integer. So let's have the number 5. Now we know 5 is an odd number. So it should return true. True, which is what it does. Let's enter an even number this time. So the odd numbers are 3, 5, 7 and so on. The even numbers are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and so on. So let's try entering an even number and with an even number this is going to return false. 
So let's type in 22 and it returns false. So here we're returning a Boolean value. You can return any sort of value, true, false, one. You can return integers, you can return floating points or return a string. So here it's either going to return true or false. If this is true, it returns true. Otherwise, it's going to return false. So that's a function which is making use of the return value so what we can do is change this a little say if uh, is odd number is equal to true then print number number is an odd number else then we can say number is an even number so let's just copy that place it here and change that to even now let's see what happens now so in this case we don't really need to print out true or false so i'm just going to convert that to a comment so it will not run we call this commenting out a line in a program uh, we might i might want to uncomment later i might want to use that statement again but for now i don't want to I'm going to save let's run so i'm going to enter an integer let's enter 33 that's an odd number and it says 33 is an odd number Okay, let's try an even number. Now an even number are the numbers 0, 2, 4, 6. So let's try 0. And it says 0 is an even number. So this is working and it's good. So here we've got a function called isOdd. And it's going to tell you return true or false if a function is odd or even. If the function returns true, then here we're going to look to see if what is returned is true, if it's true, it's going to print as an odd number, else it prints an even number. So I'll leave it at that point and let you study this movie. And in the next movie, I'll, I'll add to this program, I'll add another function, which will find the bigger of two numbers. So we'll finish at this point here. And...